A rainy and windy Tuesday night in Northeast Ohio and a big game in the MAC East Division goes to the Bowling Green Falcons over Akron 27-10 with Ray Bentley, Mark Neely, Ray. And this was a 6-3 game at the half in favor of Bowling Green with the wet conditions. I guess it was just a, a matter of which team would be able to just and make their offense go first. Well, that and then the, the turnover, the big plays, right. and that really is what kind of opened the floodgates for Bowling Green. Once they got that first one, it popped and exploded on them, and they took control of the ball game and handed the, the loss to the Akron Zips. Five turnovers tonight for the Akron offense. Uh, a couple of turnovers, uh, INTs from their quarterback, Cole, who all in all had a decent night. Yeah, he did. He didn't get any help from his receiver on this one, and, uh, and that one's not on him. Here he throws it up, trying to get his receiver, Pratt, a chance to make a play, but that one gets picked off, and that led to Bowling Green getting some things done. This is really what busted it open. The high snap, and Paul unable to handle it, ends up a touchdown for Bowling Green, and then that's when the floodgates opened as they come up with a couple of offensive scores, including this long touchdown run. 46-yard run there for Gibbons. Quint Kestick had a chance to visit with Dino Babers, the Bowling Green head coach. Coach, what was it like trying to be productive on a night that uh, really was defined by some adverse weather conditions? Well, I thought it was difficult, but I thought the young men did a great job. Uh, we had some turnovers there in the first half, and we straightened it out in the second half, won the turnover battle. It was going to be a game of whoever was going to be the most patient and not turn the football over, and uh, I'm really happy with the performance of my football team. You took a 6-3 lead and, and finished 27-10. Uh, How would you, uh, you know, you get things going offensively in the second half? Well, just to be a lot more patient, we're going to run the ball a little bit more and, and wait, play the field position game and wait for our opportunities to plug it in there. We had some opportunities, some penalties that hurt us a little bit, but we weren't going to let that deter us. We were going to just keep pressing on, and the kids did a great job. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you so much. Bowling Green now in command of the MAC East Division, needing just one win of their final three games to clinch the MAC East title. And they also win their sixth game of the year tonight, become bowl eligible for the third consecutive season. 27-10, Bowling Green over Akron on Tuesday night in Northeast Ohio.